Hello all automation lovers. I'm trying to share my skills in the most practically user Siemens PLC programming. So please subscribe and share my videos. On this video, I'm going to show you about local variables, local data in the accumulators with some examples. So before starting the program, let's see some important notes about those things. When we say local data, this is a temporary variable on our OB or FC or our function block. Okay. But when we say a local variable, a variable that's created on our OB or FC function or a function block. So we will see this on our programming so it will be clear and easy to understand. Okay. The next one is accumulators. Accumulators in S7, S7 are registers in which all operations, including data, different than the Boolean, takes place. In S7300, there are two accumulators, accumulator 1 and accumulator 2. In S7400, there are four accumulators so you can use those accumulators directly only when you program using stl so so when we say here is an example here is when we say load we are saying that load this value to our accumulator one if we again uh, type load another parameter so the first parameter will move to accumulator two and the and the last one will be moved to accumulator one so this shows this one so when we load input by 10 it means load byte input byte 10 into accumulator two when we say load memory byte 120, so when it means load memory byte 120 into accumulator one again. So this shows an example. So we when we do practically, it will be easy. On the bottom, here is our accumulators. So before execution, it is empty. When after execution of memory byte, loading of memory byte 10, the byte 10 will be moved to the first one. If we say memory word 10, its storage will be byte 10 will be on the highest and the byte 11 will be on the lowest. So we will see this one again. When we say load memory, memory double 10, it means the storage looks like this one memory bit 10 on the last one and memory bit 30 on the first one okay this this is just show you the hint so so <clears throat> tag or toggle is one a word a tag or a toggle so when we say tag or toggle it means exchange the value of accumulator 1 and accumulator 2 each other so the value the value stored in accumulator 1 will be stored to accumulator 2 and the value stored on accumulator 2 will be moved to accumulator 1 so we will see this one later okay so this is enough for our introduction so let's start our programming now here I have already created a function block so to make our programming easy. So I have already created the local variables. Also, we can say if we create a variable variable on a temporary, it is like a data, local data. So I have created here some variables. 
a boolean a byte a word and a real so let's use these things let's use this one so this one says zero zero so the local data local data zero zero means variable one so when i make it enter the value will be changed automatically to variable one as you see so when we say local data it means the variable stored on the function function is temporary okay if i want to write this one so it's it means local data 0 0.1 one local 0 0.1 so it will say automatically variable two if i want to write you can write variable three or you can write local 0 0.2 so it will automatically change to variable three so it looks like this one okay for the bytes let's let's move some value on our byte on this one variable b1 variable b2 so let's make it move okay this is also move so let's make move it on our byte variable b1 this one that means local byte one local byte one it will automatically rename it to variable one okay that's it i'm just showing you the local data means the variable on our temporary okay let's move to it on our byte two local byte two okay let's do for all local data word so i have two words here also let's move some value on that So the local variable or the local data is this one. So the word, let me move this one uh, 100 on my var variable, variable sorry, sorry, variable word this one you can like write like this also you can write this one local barrier local word six oh, sorry let me move this one here and move here Okay, let's also add for the real. Let's move some values. Like four hundred in real. So let's put on our uh, local data this one. Let's local the data in table eight. And let's put five hundred in local data real bar. 
okay so I have done writing the local data so let's simulate the value Okay, as you see, it's all correct. So, this egg body is stored on local variable one. On this one for two, this one likewise, all are working good. Okay, let's finalize this one for the go to the communities. So, let me write a program for this one. So let's, I have already write the program. So when we are saying data transfer, how is the byte moving? The byte move is one byte moves, then the next byte move and like that. So here on network five, it shows when I transfer 8,000 to the memory double 20, the data transfer looks like this one. So, memory byte 20 will be this one, and memory byte 21 like this and this. Let's first let's change it to binary. When we say 8000. This one is the equivalent binary. So we put eight bytes. It looks like this one. Okay. So when it transfers, this first first will be transferred to MB20. Then this when the second will be followed, so it will go to and the first one will be go to memory by 21 and when the third so this part moves to this one, this part will be moved to here, and uh, this part will move here, and this part will move here. And also when the last moves, this part will be moved here, and on this memory byte 20 will move to memory byte 20. So finally it looks like this one. Okay. It looks like this. So Let's see that now. Let's simulate. Let's see the value of those memory byte 20, 21, 22, and 23. Okay, let's see this one. So on when we change this memory byte, this is zero. In, let me make this one decimal. As you see, memory byte 20 is 
zero. So it's zero here. And 10 to 1 is also zero. So it's showing this one. We multiply 22. When we change this one, one, two, three, four, five. So all are one. When we change this, it is 31. 31 and when we this memory by 23 is 64 so it shows that we confirm that each byte data carriage or the data how it's saved okay so let's add one example. I have already write the program. Well, another example. So I move it to hundred on memory word thirty, and uh, then I again move two thousand two thousand two hundred fifty. Make it two fifty zero on. Memory table set to so let's load again and let's see how it is saved. So when we see this one, load memory word 30, so 200 will be loaded. So on Apple meter one, it's 200. And again, we load memory word 32. We load the Apple meter one and the 200 will move to the next one. Let's make this one floating. So 250 is here. And 200 is moved here. So the one i want to show is that the first we move to handle on on memory word 30 then again we move it to 50 on memory table 32 so when we load memory word 30 till door to on a one then again we load memory word 32 on accumulator one so the first will shift to accumulator two okay that's it let me add one for this one for so i have added the toggle here so it will interchange the two accumulators accumulator one will be shifted to accumulator two and the value stored on accumulator Two will be shifted to up meter one. So let's download and see that one. Okay, this two hundred is loaded here, and two fifty is loaded here. Two fifty, and this one is shifted here. When we say toggle. 200 will be come to on the first accumulator you see so 250 will move to accumulator 2 they interchange the value 